start picking up the energy between black like crazy as we welcome to the mic Brad Blue Bathgate. Keep clapping until he gets her prepared. A good way to tell that you're going through a bad neighborhood is when you see a lot of churches. <laughs> Send your children to school and teach them how to steal legally because it's the American way. <laughs> My love life is going through a recession and I'm looking for a wife with a nice fat stimulus package. <laughs> Girls only seem to check me out whenever they see me with another girl. So I started hanging out with lesbians. <laughs> and we pick up chicks together. <laughs> Put your cell phone on vibrate, sit it on your lap, and I'll call you when I'm coming. <laughs> This guy asked me, what's the quickest way to get from here to Rikers Island? And I told him to take the D train at 34th Street and throw a brick through Macy's window. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, if you don't spend your time, if you don't spend time with your girlfriend during the week, it's going to be hard for you to find her on the weekend. So I told my wife we would be together forever, up until the day I die. But if I find somebody better, I'm going to split. <laughs> I come, I live in the basement, but you live underneath me. If you were the coffee, I'll be the biscotti. That's because you're black and hot, and I'm hard and a little nutty. <laughs> How can you get a black woman to jump out of an airplane? You get a black man to tell her not to do it. <laughs> When you go to the corner tonight and you're about to cross the street, you'll notice the don't walk sign is red, but the walk sign is white. But the funny thing is, it's a white man. So, that means don't cross the street until the white man says so. <laughs> I'm gonna do a poem and get out of here, all right? I got a poem that goes in my neighborhood. They got bulletproof corner stores that never stop to take a breath. And you can catch a contact from the gun smoke. I come from a place where the scent of roach spray still gets me homesick. It was 212 West 129th Street. That's where the needle skips on the family that broke the record for all those times the mice left holes in the loaf of the bread while the roaches played dead like raisins and they were back choking in my bowl of cereal. I had a good stomach back then. It was them days of free sex, good loving had a price, and cold chilling was an understatement. And we were getting dressed up just to go to bed. We were wrapped under blankets and coats and you wake up sweating from the cries of an alley cat in heat. And then by the time you're two or three, you're like numb to this noise. And if you move down south, the sinus will give you insomnia. And this all took place when Harlem was an armpit. It was right before gentrification gave it a facelift. It's when the middle class never came past 59th Street on the Uptown D train. And there was a seat. We sat around a lit cigarette and that was our light and heat. And we were like survivors of lead paint poison and secondhand smoke. It felt like we were serving time for killing time. 
fuck sheep. We counted pit bulls in our sleep. You might even see a blind man get into a fist fight for looking at somebody the wrong way. But I'm the ugly one. I'm mad that I keep drying my socks in front of the stove with my underwear on the radiator. And I started saving all of my asthma pumps because I heard they'd be worth a lot of money someday. You might think this poetry is deep, but it's not deep. Deep is the way Mecca sits right next door to a methadone clinic and a malpractice lawsuit let a bum dress nice for once in his life if he doesn't mind having the wrong finger amputated. But the funny shit is somebody in my neighborhood is going to see this guy with the missing finger and think it's cool. <laughs> and before you know it, that's going to be a new style. And I can see it now. Some dudes be like, yo, check it out, son. I just got my finger cut off. This shit look kind of hot, right? And his friends be like, yo, I'm feeling that, son. Watch next week, I'm going to get all my fingers cut off. And if you think that poetry shit is deep, it's not deep. Deep is the way this girl asked me, what's the difference between meat and fish? And I told her I don't know, but I know it's hard to beat your fish. Thank you, guys.